Muy buenas. Good evening to everyone. I don't know if you hear me. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, it is time to begin the class. Okay, so welcome to another English class. My name is Rodrigo Gonzalez, and today we're gonna have the third class, la clase número tres del básico Stay the módulo básico 6. Okay, uh, let's begin. Vamos a dar inicio. Okay, in the previous class, la clase anterior, estudiamos un poco sobre el verbo modal can. Okay. El verbo modal can. No sé si me logran escuchar. Hello. Teacher cortado. Vale, Uy, deme, no un, deme un segundo. Un segundo. Ok, ok. Deben un minuto. No sé si me escuchan mejor ahora. Hello. 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 ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, ¿cómo teacher. se escucha? ¿Se escucha mejor? Yeah. ¿A un Yes, claro. se escucha claro. Yes, yes. Ok, excelente. Ok, very good. Thank you for your feedback. Vamos a, a repasar un poco el verbo modal que estudiamos en la clase de ayer. Ok, um, for example, estudiamos un poco el verbo, el, utilizamos el, repasamos el verbo modal can. Ok, can and can. Dijimos que es can es para expresar habilidad, habilidad, eh, por ejemplo, can't and can. También para solicitar eh, permiso, permission. For example, I can, please talk. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the restaurant? Can I, can I uh, tell you something? All right. Vamos a dar inicio. Acá tenemos tres opciones. We have a... Uh, Section one, option A, B, and C. What is the correct answer here? Hello? She can sing. She can sing. She can sing. Excellent. Very good. She can 
thing. Okay, how about this? He can't, he play, can't soccer. play soccer. He can't play soccer. He can't. He can't. This one, letter C? Yes. Yes. Excellent. How about this? Letter B. Letter they B. Can dance. Letter B says. They can dance. Yes. I'm they sorry. They can dance. They can dance. Very dance. good. How about this? He can play the guitar. He can play the guitar. Hey. He can play the guitar or he can play the piano. Talker. He can guitar. play the guitar. Hey. Excellent. Okay, they can this. swim. They I'm can sorry? swim. They Better can say. swim. Hey. They can swim. They can swim. Very good. Better he can be. drive a car. He can drive a car. He can he drive a car. Very good. He can, he, jump. Can jump. he can jump. He can jump. He can jump. He can't. He can jump. She can write. She can. Okay, este se, se, se pronuncia la W. Ya no se pronuncia, se dice right. 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 She can write. She can write. Very good. How about this? He right. can draw. draw. True. He can? True. Draw. He can, he can draw. 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 She, she can cook. She, she can cook. Chicken cook. Little C. Cook. Letter C. Excellent. Okay, vamos a, a tomar la asistencia de este día. Thank you for joining to the class. Let's begin. Eh, Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Eh, Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Maribel Ramos. Uh, present teacher. Aquí, present. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Okay, let me see. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Good. Eh, López González. Present teacher. Thank you. Orellana de Alemán. Orellana de Alemán. Santana González. Present. Eh, Tobar Ayala. Tobar Present. Ayala. Eh, Herrera Lucha. Present teacher. Herrera Lucha. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. López Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Mejía Hueso. Present. León Rivera. León Rivera. Castaneda Velasco. Te estoy viendo que no escucho nada. ¿no? Castaneda Velasco. Ok. Romero Ayala. Gracias, Tisha. Thank you, Mr. 
Martínez López. Martínez López. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Lina de García. Present. Yeah. López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And Luna Sosa. Present teacher. Very good. Let's continue. Bueno, vamos a ir al manual. Rápidamente, a la página. Page number 10. Page number 10. Page number 10. Here we have. Okay, teacher. Okay, it says, complete the sentence with the appropriate form of can. Complete the sentence with the appropriate form of can. Ayer hicimos este ejercicio, ok, donde teníamos que ir completando con el uh -huh. can or can't. All right. Um, for example, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo sería el número uno? I'm sorry. Can't. I, I can't, can't help you today. I, I can't, can't help you today. I'm really help. busy. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa la palabra busy? ¿Alguien recuerda? Ocupado. Realmente ocupado. Realmente ocupado. ocupado. Estoy realmente ocupado. Exactly, busy. Ok, number two. I just... Can't manage... I can't. I just can't. I just can't manage just to wake can't. up on time. I just can't. I'm always late. Look, it's right there. Can, can you see? Can, can, you, see can you see it? Can you see can it? You see? It's can you see obvious. it? Can you see it? It's so obvious. So obvious. Therefore, I. I can. I can speak German. German. I can speak German. I can speak German. I. I live in Germany. I live in Germany. I live in Germany. In Germany. In Germany. For eight years. Um, for or eight years. For eight years. Very good. Years. Number eight five. Years. She doesn't have a driving license. She, she can. She can. Can't. Drive. Drive. Yes. A car. Driver cars. She can. Very good. Ya porque no posee licencia de conducir, vea. She can. She can. She can. Very good. Uh, okay, vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Let's go see the following exercise. Okay. For example, cat can catch. Is it true or false? True or false? True. 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 Excellent. True. Fish can throw. When you say throw. Throw. Eh, yeah. Arrojar. Aventar. <laughs> False. 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 True. 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 Tigers can fly. No pueden volar. True. 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 Okay. Next. True. 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 
Or true. 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 False. 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 True. True or false? False. False. It says, Gorillas can't climb. It's true, teacher. It's false. True. It's false. 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 You see, pueden. Yeah. Horses can run. True, <coughs> Excelente. Ok. Very good. Vamos a regresar al manual. Okay. Um, y vamos a recordar actividades que una actividad que puede hacer y otra actividad que no, que no puede. O sea, en total dos. Una positiva y una afirmativa. Ok, for example, I, in my case, I can, I can run, I can run. I can walk in. You can walk. Ok. Algo muy importante. Cuando utilizamos el verbo can, el oh, verbo okay. tiene que ir en, en infinitivo. No podemos ponerlo okay. en progresivo. Por ejemplo, yeah, si es, uh -huh. I can eh, watch in. Sería, no sería correcto gramaticalmente. I can swim. I can swim. Very good. I can play soccer. I can play basketball. Vamos a ver con mis eh, concepción. Podría decirnos dos oraciones utilizando can. Una can y otra can't. I can drive a car, but I, I can, can play tennis. I can't. You can't play tennis. Very can't, good. Can't play tennis. Very good. Vamos con mi Sandra. I can cook. Excellent. And I can't speak Japanese. Okay, you can speak Japanese. Excellent. Miss Yvonne Calderón. I can drive a car and I can't play the guitar. Okay, you can't play the guitar. Very good. Mr. Yeah. Wilfredo? Uh, I can play the guitar and I can't speak uh, Chinese. Chinese, very good. How about Miss Rosibel? I can uh, positive and negative, right? Así es, Miss. I can exercise. I can't think. You can't think, okay. You can't. All right, how about Mr. Jonathan? I can play the guitar. Okay. I can not uh, sing. Sing. Cantar. Sing. Okay. You can't sing. Cantar. I can sing. Very good. Muy bien, excelente. Very good. All right, vamos con Mr. Miss Erika. Uh, okay. I can cook delicious. I can't dance. Okay, you can dance. Very good. About Miss eh, Maribel Ramos. Sí, teacher. Ah, bueno, allí sería I can play baseball. All right. Uh, el otro sería I um, can receive case at the board. Okay, very good. Okay. Excellent. Vamos ahora. Thank you for your participation. Vamos a recordar la lectura del día de ayer. We're going to remember the reading that we had yesterday. The reading we had yesterday. For example, it says, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? 
I would be I would be a great assist in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds good. It, it sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could I could be of great help in large projects. All right, one more time. Now it's mass. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great assess in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a, of great help in large projects. Okay, vamos a, vamos a, eh, por ejemplo, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué significa, o qué creen ustedes que significa comfortable, comfortable? Comfortable. Eh, como cómodo. Exactly. Exactly. Algo muy cómodo. Que por ejemplo usted puede decir, ah, my bed is very comfortable. My bed, my bed is very comfortable. Que es muy cómodo. Muy cómodo. O el ambiente. Confortable. Sí, pero es más que todo como un lugar donde usted se siente con mucha comodidad. Puede decir, eh, el ambiente de su trabajo es muy, con, es muy cómodo también para trabajar. It's very comfortable. Comfortable. Ok, the sofa, el sofá, the sofa is very comfortable. Ok, eh, esta palabra okay, se pronuncia como una E al inicio. Area. 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 Ok, vamos a repetir todos. Area. 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 Very good. Ok, how about this? How do you pronounce this word? Salt. 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 Sales. Repeat, teacher. Sales. 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 Very good. Muy bien. Otra palabra que podría ser difícil. Um, pretty. Pretty. Muy. Pretty comfortable. Pretty. 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 Muy, muy cómodo. Comfortable. Pretty. 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 Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Very good. Bien. Pretty comfortable. Experiencia, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Experience. 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 Okay. Um, let's continue. We have... Ah, esta. Puede... Esta. Esta palabra no suena la O. Solamente la... La U y la D. Would. Would be. 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 Would be.
Ok, tenemos, tenemos que tener mucho cuidado porque puede sonar como eh, bueno, ¿verdad? Good. Good es bueno, pero este es good. Would. Would be. Ok. Would be a great, a great, una gran, una oportunidad muy genial. Ok. Opportunity. 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 Ok. Uh, employee. ¿Qué significa employee? Empleado. 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 Empleado o tra trabajador, algo así. Empleado. Empleado. Okay, bueno. Ah, bye. Muy bien. Eh, quiero ver. Experience. Customer experience. <coughs> man manager. Estamos claros, ¿verdad? Que es manager. Manager. Exacto. Ok, esta, este would significa como sería, sería, compraría, ok, me gustaría, cuando le damos la palabra would a un ver. Y cuando tenemos could, suena como podría, podría ser, yo podría ser, I could be, podría ser, y este es, sería. Muy bien, vamos a pedirle, ah, vamos a practicar la conversación. Nos pide acá que, nos, que practiquemos la conversación. We're going to practice the conversation okay, with another classmate. All right, here we go. Please, vamos a intercambiar eh, roles. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. He's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Hoy inicio yo entonces, ¿verdad? Yes. Here, of comfortable, do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty covered she with my experience. I can say uh, is good be a great opportunity. I am sure about the look can you bring to this company as I employ you. I will be a uh, great. Uh, Dice cómo se pronuncia esta sed. Perdón, ¿cuál? Aces. Aces. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes, I because of my experience as Manager, I could be of reps, helping large project. Mm -hmm. 
Si gusta, vuelvo a usted, este, Carlos. Ready or comfort? Do you feel uh, working on this area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be. Mr. Experience. 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 I can say this will be a great opportunity. About the look, can you write to this company as employees? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience. Okay. How comfortable do you feel working in the soul area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employer? employer? I will be a great asset employee. in the company. <laughs> employee. Employee. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the con construction industry. In Sungori? Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. <coughs> On Travis. Okay, teacher is Comfortable. 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 Com exactly. Comfortable. Com Comfortable. Okay. Empiezo yo, este, Silvia, ahora. Yes. Um, of my experience as a, as a manager, I could be a, of great help in large projects. Awesome. No. What is the mean asset? Asset. Asset and active. Asset. Asset. Asset in the front. Active. Okay. More active. Asset. ¿Alguna pregunta con el, la conversación? Ah. I, I have a problem with uh, pronunciation. Uh -huh. I will be a great asset or asset. 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 Thank you. Okay, what is the meaning of us? Hello? What is the meaning of asset? Ah, asset is like eh, como alguien de mucho beneficio para la empresa. Mm. Como un elemento clave. Mm. Ah, okay. Hola. Eh, ya regresamos. Ah, ya regresamos. No sé. We are back. Ah, ya regre we are back. <laughs>
Okay. Um, now that you already read the conversation, we're going to share with us. You will share with us. Okay, the reading. You will read it for us. Okay, vamos a elegir algunos voluntarios. Okay, debido al tiempo. Vamos a comenzar con mi Cecilia y mi Sir Wilfredo. Okay. Uh, voy a empezar. ¿Qué? How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds good. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Excellent. Very good. Vamos a practicar, vamos a uh, reforzar la pronunciación de comfortable. 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 Okay. Area. 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 Okay. Area. Experience. 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 This would be. Would be. This would be. This would be. Okay. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Catherine. Catherine and Mr. Jorge. What Catherine? Catherine Marmol or Catherine Rivera? I'm sorry, it is Catherine Pineda and Mr. Jorge Alberto. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, I will be Andre. Uh, oh. Here, how comfortable do you feel working? Area. Very comfortable here. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Uh, look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great age in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience. As a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Excellent. Okay, una vez más, experience. 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 Very good. Great. Experience. Great. 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 Industry. 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 Very good. Okay. Veamos, mis, quiero ver. Mis Concepción, Marina, and Mr. Manuel Antonio, please. Okay. Hertz, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Sure. With the experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of experience as a manager, uh, it would be of great help in large projects. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. the microphone. I'm sorry. See, I'm sorry. Area. 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 Como una E al final. Recuerda que en inglés, en el alfabeto, hay diferentes sonidos de vocal. Esta vocal suena como una E. Cuando decimos A, B. A, B, C, pues esta es una area, area. Okay, uh, let me see one more time. 
because 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 es esa u es como una o cerrada because 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 okay vamos a pedirle a mis la u es como una o cerrada Sí, la U es como una O cerrada. En inglés el sonido se llama schwa. K. Ah. K. Because. Ok, vamos a pedirle a mis... Mr. Carlos Alfredo y Mr. Daniel... Daniel Eduardo López. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok, I know comparison. Do you feel a warning in the salad area? Pretty comfortable, sure. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. Excellent. I am sorry uh, about the blue pen in the morning to the company as I employed. I will be a great as in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in life project. Excellent. Very good. Eh, vamos a... Vamos a pedirle al último y al último. No sé si mis... Miss Catherine Rivera y veamos a um, Miss María Jesús Martínez. Ok. 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 Miss Catherine, ella inicia. Pues vamos. Three to one action. Uh -huh. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as employee? As I an employee? Be, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Projects, okay, very good. Vamos a practicar manager, manager. 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 Okay, construction. Construction. Construction, construction industry. Construction, Construction industry. industry. Very good. Industry. Muy bien. All right. Ahora vamos a ver. Eh, would and could. Would and could. Entonces, tenemos las palabras desordenadas. Nosotros, la misión es crear. Okay, hacer oraciones. Por ejemplo... Tenemos would be. Y dije que sería, que eso suena como sería. Sería. Yo sería. I would be. Y could es yo podría. Podría ser. I could be. Sería y podría. El primero sería como una afirmación y el segundo como una posibilidad. Sí, podríamos interpretarlo de esa forma. Sin embargo, si cambiamos el verbo. Eh, lo intercambiamos por, por ejemplo, gust, por el verbo gustar, like. Podría decir, me gustaría, I would like, me gustaría una gaseosa. I would like soda. I would like, me gustaría. Si le cambiamos eh, por el verbo amar, yo amaría. ¿okay? Una posibilidad también, podemos interpretar así. Y could es, yo podría, ¿okay? yo podría ser, I could be. 
que podría hacer. Vamos a intentar hacer, poner en orden eh, todas estas palabras. Ok. Vamos a dar dos minutos okay, para intentar poner en orden todas estas palabras. It would be. Primero tenemos que comenzar por el sujeto. Tenemos que identificar el sujeto. In this case, so yeah, it. Exactly. It. Muy bien. It will be opportunity. It will be a great opportunity. Vamos a hacer. It. Veamos. It. It will be. It would be. Pero con el sujeto. A great opportunity. A great. I would be a. Uh, Opportunity to study abroad. To study abroad. Abroad. ¿Saben qué es abroad? Abroad es, es como extranjero. extranjero. En el extranjero. Okay. extranjero. Por ejemplo, usted dice: Voy a estudiar en el extranjero, en otro país. I'm going to study abroad. Abroad. O, um, por ejemplo, si tienen planes de vivir en otro país, I'm going to, I will live abroad. My parents, mis padres, puede decir, si, si sus padres viven en Estados Unidos, my parents live abroad, en el extranjero. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos eh, interpretar esta oración? Sería, sería una increíble oportunidad de estudiar en el extranjero. Sería. Oops. Ok, vamos a dar otro, un minuto quizás. Lo hicieron bastante rápido en el, en el número uno. Voy a dar un minuto para, la, para pensar en el orden de la número dos. Siempre sería el sujeto primero, ¿verdad, teacher? Así es. El sujeto. El sujeto. El sujeto sería employees. Will be. Employees. Vamos. Ay, ay. A training could be a training. A training. A training could be. Could be. A training could be beneficial for our employees. For our employees. Mm -hmm. Entonces podría ser una posibilidad, ¿verdad? A training. Oh, falta aquí la, algo. Employees también, teacher. Sí, sí. Employees. Ok, yes. a training. Invite la O. Invite la E la O. También, Employees. Es que no miro ahí. I need glasses. Empleo. Ah, sí, sí. I'm sorry. Employees. Yes, now it's, it's well written. Okay. Uh, our training could be beneficial for our employees. El, un entrenamiento o una capacitación puede ser traducido en un contexto laboral. Puede ser o podría ser de beneficio para nuestros empleados. A training could be beneficial for our employees. A 
O sea que un trainer es sería como una capacitación. Una capacitación, un entrenamiento. Podría ser un entrenamiento, o puede ser un beneficio para nuestros empleados. Exacto. Vamos con la número tres. Dar un minuto también. One minute. Okay, let's start. Number, let me see, it is number three. What's it, yeah, number three? Working less hours. Working. Working less hours would be, would, would be. be. Another benefit. 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 Okay, uh, number four. Weekends off will be a good option to have a happy start. I'm sorry? Um, weekends off will be a good option to have a happy start. Okay, good. Weekends. Weekends off would be as it, verdad? Weekends off would be a good option. A good option to have to have a happy staff. A happy staff. Very good. Good. Is sí, sure. Tell me. Uh, do you think the sentence is correct like that? Weekends off would be a good option to have. For me, sounds good. I don't know if or if someone has different option. Uh, uh, the question is because of I have a mistake in the platform. Oh, really? If I write the sentence like you write. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Place. I'm going to check it out right now. Voy a revisarlo. Es la única porque las demás están iguales. Y dan... Weekends off would be good option. Okay, I'm, le voy a dar una respuesta en... Un, un momento, ok. Solo deme un chancito para revisar la plataforma y ver qué es lo que está pasando. Okay. All right. Let's see number five. María. 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 Could be. Could be. Of great help. Of great help. 
Oh, oh great. Would be of great help, teacher. In the department. In the inventory department. In the inventory department. Like this. Maria could be a great help in the inventory department. Is of great help. I'm sorry, Maria could be uh, could be of great. Of of great. Ah, of here could be off here, me sir. Right. Excellent. But yeah, without the A. Without A. Yes. Let's see. A agree or disagree? Estamos de acuerdo o desacuerdo? Con Mr. Wilfred. Okay, exactly. Maria could be of a great help in the inventory department. Very good. Okay, very good. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a crear ahora nuestras propias oraciones. Vamos a crear dos oraciones creando, usando wood. Y dos, utilizando could. Ok, y después lo vamos a leer en clase. Y si hay alguna corrección, pues la hacemos acá con todos nuestros compañeros. Ok, two sentences using could and two sentences using would. Solamente cuatro, dos y dos. Okay, vamos a poner, eh, vamos a dar cuatro minutos. Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, two sentences using would and two sentences using could, please. Mm -hmm.
Okay, queda un minuto, one minute left. Okay. Uh, any volunteer? Algún voluntario? Is there any volunteer? Utilizando would or could. Me, Cecilia, thank you. Hello, uh, I would be happy study business administration. Uh, Excellent. I, I would be happy visit many places. If I could be get up uh, every morning, morning. All right, very good. Can you repeat the last one, please? Puede repetir la última? I could be Get up early morning. Early in the morning, okay. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, another volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Dos, Tomás, tengo una con good y otra con good. Uh, for example, is he's good, big, uh, good to practice for in another. Uh, no, the company, country. Mr. Carlos, ¿podría acercarse un poquito más el micrófono y repetir la última, por favor? Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ok. It's good, be good to practice uh, sport in, the, in another country. It would be great to practice sport abroad, puede ser también, yes. o oh, in another country. Muy bien. La otra es, it could be important to practice English. Excellent. It could be important to practice English. Very good. Another volunteer. Thank you, Mr. Another volunteer. Otro voluntario. Yeah, yo, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, pero solo tengo una de cada una. Está bien. Okay. She said that Will buy some bar. She could speak several languages. Okay. Podría repetir la última, por favor? Okay. She could speak several languages. Could be practicing another language. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Excelente. Bueno, yo tengo unas tichas aquí, no sé si se las medio menciono para que me vean también o me las corrí. Ok, adelante. Ok, este tengo una de Arborbit, um, Arborbit, an excellent working. Ok. Uh, la, la otra es de Arborbit, um, a good nurse in the hospital. It could be a good nurse in the hospital. La otra es con usando el pulpit, me dijo, ¿verdad? Um, la otra es chico. 
No sé si me, lo, me voy. Eh, se le cortó lo último. Ah, vaya. Ah, y las últimas, de, usando el Curbit. Cur y si Curbit and Swing is very fast. Ok. Ah, la otra es, ay, he could beat a good player soccer. Good soccer player. Ajá, ajá, player, ajá, soccer player. Very good. Perdón. Thank you, Miss. verdad? Ok. Yes, Miss Clary. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Ok. okay Muy bien, vamos, continuamos. Soccer player. Go ahead, please, Miss Calderón. Ok, una de cada una tengo. Okay. Uh, I will be excited to travel to France. And I could be a good option to learn an, another language. Ok, it, ahí sería, it could be, sería, o, it, o podría yes, ser. It could be, okay. it could be uh -huh. a good option to learn an another language. Excellent. Good send, muy buena oración. Ok. Excellent. Go ahead, please, Miss Rosibel. I could, I could be have to share. I could be help to my friend. I, I could be alright tomorrow. Ok, I, excellent. And I could buy a book. I could buy a book. Muy bien, podría. Yo podría comprar un libro, ¿sí, verdad? Yes. Ok, I could, I could buy a new book. <laughs> Excellent. Muy bien, vamos a ir a la siguiente conversación. Ah, but before to continue with the class, I need to take the attendance list. Vamos a tomar la, la asistencia de esta noche. Un segundito. Hold on, please. Okay, here we go. Um, Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Maribel Ramos. Present teacher. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. López González. Present teacher. Orellana de Alemán. Eh, Santana González. Present, yo soy Ale Orellana de Alemán. Orellana de Alemán, ah, ok. Ajá. Santana González. Tobar Ayala. Herrera Lucha. Presente, teacher. Um, López Orellana. Present teacher. Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. León teacher, Rivera. Yo, teacher. Perdón. Present teacher. Porte yo, teacher. Dice Alvarado. Ahí está. Alvarado Mejía, ¿verdad? Yes. Mejía Hueso. León Rivera. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Castaneda Velasco. Romero Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Martínez López. Present. Rosibel Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Molina de García. Present. López de Cabrera. Present, teacher. Luna Sosa. Present, teacher. Good. Vamos en un segundo. Eh, perdón Miss Catherine yo, okay. si no lo han agregado aún en la lista pero ya lo reporté, esperaría que ya mañana ya aparezca okay. Miss Catherine Teacher, ni a mí tampoco ayer no me mencionó ni ahora bueno, entonces sería Miss Catherine Rivera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes. yo he reportado a Miss Pineda Mármol, o sea, aún no la había reportado Catherine Rivera
Ok, good. Ya le agregué el report. Ok, um, we're going to have the conversation page 13. Vamos a ir a la página 13. Page 13. Page 13. Okay, it says, tell me about your work, work experience. I worked at the Unilever, Unilever, for, Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador and you have not worked and you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been long for long. No, it's my, no, it's my. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador and you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, for example, ¿Qué le está, diciendo, qué le está preguntando acá? Tell me about your work experience. Cuéntame acerca de tu experiencia de trabajo. Exacto. Dime acerca de tu experiencia en los trabajos, en el trabajo. Y le contesta, I worked, algo en el pasado, I worked at Unilever for five years. ¿Qué creen que significa la palabra actually? De, de hecho. Actualmente. Realmente, que no significa actualmente, sino que es realmente, actually. Realmente. Ok, no se vaya a confundir porque pensamos que significa como en español, ¿verdad? Actualmente, pero no, significa realmente. Realmente trabajé en esta compañía desde. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. Ok, um, ¿qué, ¿qué significa o qué entienden ustedes por offer? I was offer. Una oferta. Ofrecieron. Exacto, una oferta. Lo ofrecieron una nueva oferta. Lo ofrecieron. Lo ofrecieron, ok. Lo ofrecieron una nueva oferta. Ok, eh, tenemos. Let me see, short period. Came. Luego me regresé a El Salvador. Regresar. Regresar. Okay, el verbo es eh, venir. Okay. I came. I came. Volver. Está en pasado. Yo vine. O regresé. O regresé. Ok, muy bien. Um, let me see. Jobs. Jobs. Trabajos. Trabajos. 
muy bien trabajos. Ok, también tenemos esas palabritas en negrita. Por ejemplo, from, podría ser, ya sabemos que cuando le dicen, where are you from? ¿De dónde eres original? Entonces, pero en este contexto, en este contexto que se, se refiere a un periodo de tiempo, significa desde el 2011 a 2016. Desde, from 2011 to 2016. Este for es, significa por, un periodo corto. For, por. Okay, for. Ok, también tenemos la palabra then. Then. Puede ser traducida como después. En then. Then. Ok, then. Very good. Vamos con until. Hasta. Hasta. Teacher, disculpe que lo interrumpa. Donde decía que era ten, eres hasta. Ten. O, o... Este, este. Ajá, ten. Ajá, después. Sí, por favor. Después. Después. Y después, en them. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Y ese dem eh, puede ser también entonces. Entonces. Ajá. Entonces. Entonces. Después. Sí. Como para seguir la historia. Ok. Y, y antes. Okay. Antes. Porque antes, también existe la palabra so. Antes. So. Entonces. Uh, ok. El since, que okay, ese es desde, desde, desde. Ok, no vaya, no vaya a cometer el, el error de decir signs, es since. Since. Since, desde. Desde. Desde, ok. También tenemos for long. En esta expresión, la palabra long significa por mucho tiempo. No ha sido por mucho tiempo. For long. Ok. Vamos a practicar nuevamente la, la conversación y dice Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2002 to 2016. I'm sorry, 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then, I came back to El Salvador, and you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, we're going to practice the conversation.
on some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. De nuevo. La misma, inicio yo. Sí. O usted. No. No, Tell me that. about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked. Yo ya me encontré. Se le cerró a usted. Eh, me vuelvo a cerrar. ¿La Arisa? ¿La Arisa? What's happening there? I was just for a short period period of time. I was job for eight months until my project was done. Then I come back to the server. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job. You know, but they, but they have not been for long. Tell me about your work experience? I worked there for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2000. I quit because I was operating a new in Panama. Come back. Okay. Uh -huh. No, aquí está. Está escuchándonos ahorita. Ay, no lo veo. Si quiere, le otra vez empiece y le sigo yo. Uh, sí. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit, I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period, period of time. It was just for eight months until my prayer was done. Then I came, came back to El Salvador. And you haven't worked since you come back? Not really. I have done some independent. Finish. Yes, teacher. Finish. Good. Yes. Suya. Podría, incluso, o sea, si es un trabajo de lo mismo que trabaja, pero en, a, fuera de la empresa o algo así. Por eso, ajá, sería lo I sell, I sell, uh -huh. lo, o, o en pasado. No, porque lo hace. Uh -huh. Lo hago así intercalado. Ok. Ok. Ah, pues terminamos y solo seguimos la conversación. Ay, ya. Mm. ya finis, teacher. Ok. Understood. All right, we're going to practice the conversation. We're going to read the conversation that you already practiced. Okay, for example, um, let's see. 
Vamos a iniciar con Miss Concepción y Mr. Wilfredo Antonio Luna, socio. Bueno, si gusta, empiece. Ok. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened in there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Um, then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you come back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Excelente. Solo vamos a eh, repasar. A ver, era was, no, have not been. Have not, not been. been. Y esta se pronuncia worked, como una leve T al final. Worked. 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 Muy bien, vamos a pedirle a Miss Clarita Maribel Ramos y Mr. Jonathan Herrera Lucha. Comienzo. Tell me about your work experience. Uh, I worked at Unilever for for live for five years. Actually, I work in this company from uh, 2011 to 2016 and quit because I was offered. Una vez más. No, I lo... One more time. Uh, 2016. Okay, 2000. 2000. 2011. 2011. Sí. Exactly. And 2016. And 2016. 2016. 2016. Una vez más. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. Ta thousand two thousand sixteen thousand sixteen yes thousand sixteen continue I quit because I was offering a new job in Panama and what happened there it got job for a short period of time I was used for a Month until my project was done, then I came back to the El Salvador. And you have not worked since you come back? Not really. I had to do some independent uh, job, you know, but they have to know it and for long. Ok. Este es came. Ok, es el pasado. El presente es come, pero el pasado es came. Came back. Thank you. Came back. Came back. Came back. Ok, también tenemos, but they have not been for long. Una vez más, they have not been for long. And they have, but they have to not be for long. Una vez más, but, but they, they, they have, have not, no, not been, been for long. For long. For long. I bet they have not been for long. Teacher. Hi. Esa parte se puede pronunciar como haven't. Sí, sí, lo que pasa es que esta es la forma, digamos, completa o formal. Haven't mm -hmm. es ya la contracción. Contracción. Exacto. 
Ah, con los números, teacher, te decía que 2011, 2020, 2016. Dos, on, 2011 se dice 2011. 2011. Yes, en 2016. Ajá. ¿Y el otro 2016? 16. 16. 16. Muy bien. Vamos a pedirle a mis Elizabeth y mis Sandra si nos pueden hacer lectura de la conversación. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked work since you can you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Excellent. Very good. Vamos a practicar. Okay. Este es el día months. Months. Okay. Eight months. Eight, eight months. months. Eight. La T al final. Eight. Eight, eight months. months. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was offered. Una pequeña D al final. Offered. I was, was offered. 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 Very good. I was offered. Okay. Um. Let me see. Un until. No es until. 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 Ok, very good. Esa es not really. No es cierto. Como, si lo pudiéramos traducir es como no es cierto. Not really. Not really. Not really. Ok, vamos con mis eh, Karen y mis Rosibel. Okay. Okay. Start, Rocky. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offering a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for a month until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. You came not back. Really. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Excellent. For long, very good. Y vamos a finalizar con mi Silvia Inés y Mr. Juan Antonio Alvarado. Tell me about your work experience. I work at uh, Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2015. I quit because it was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my employment was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Excellent. And you have not worked 
exercise you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Excellent. Very, very good. Muy bien. Bueno, vamos a ir a... Vamos a ir a la siguiente página. Página... Y si es la página 14. En la página 14 vamos a ver las preposiciones. Por ejemplo, for, since, from, and then. Ah, and also until. Until. La primera es for. Okay, for. ¿Qué significa for? For uh, oh. es en español. Puede ser como por. Okay, ¿Cuánto tiempo ha trabajado ahí? He trabajado por cinco años. For five years. Sí. No, sí puede poner así. Por ejemplo, y dice for es una preposición de tiempo es usado para un tiempo o para un periodo de tiempo. Eh, en ocasiones es como, es utilizada bastante en el presente perfecto. ¿Ok? Y también es utilizada en otros tiempos gramaticales. Ahí, aquí traigo tres oraciones. Dice, I live in England for 10 years. Por 10 años. ¿Ok? I, I'm only working for three hours today. Estoy trabajando únicamente por tres horas. I'm going on holiday for a week next month. Por una semana. ¿Ok? Entonces es una preposición de tiempo que se utiliza para expresar eh, un a period of time. A period of time. Ahí están las tres oraciones para que ustedes puedan guiar. Dice la, la primera, I live in England for 10 years. For 10 years. La siguiente preposición. Que okay, la siguiente preposición, preposición es, de acuerdo al manual, es since. Since. Ok. Significa desde cuando usted comenzó a hacer una actividad. Desde. Ok. Desde. Okay, tenemos que ser cuidadosos con la pronunciación de, este, de, esta, de esta preposición, ya que en ocasiones nos confundimos y decimos signs. Pero es since. Okay, dice since es una expresión que comúnmente se utiliza en el presente perfecto eh, para expresar un punto de, de un tiempo en el pasado hasta el presente. Entonces significa desde. Las oraciones. I've known him since I was a child. Lo he conocido desde que era un niño. I've known him since I was a child. Desde. Eh, la segunda. I've had this phone since last year. He tenido este celular, este es teléfono, desde... El, el año pasado. El año pasado. Ok. La última. I haven't eaten anything since this morning. No he comido nada desde esta mañana. Since. No sé si estamos claros con el uso de since y for. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Muy bien. La siguiente preposición es, vamos a ir, ya dijimos for, eh, nos hace falta, from, from, ok, from, ok, from es la primera vez que quizás lo escucharon, fue cuando eh, la pregunta, where are you from? Where are you from? Pero from, ok, es, se utiliza eh, para expresar o dar a entender el tiempo de inicio y 
cuando eh, de inicio y cuando finalizó una actividad. Por ejemplo, I'm going to be on holiday from 31st August to the 10th of September. Desde al 31. Okay, la siguiente. The lesson is from, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. From desde. Expresa el punto de inicio de una actividad. Okay, ¿puedo continuar? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Entonces dijimos que sin significa, ¿alguien recuerda? Desde. 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 Bien. Eh, eh, for, por, ¿verdad? Oh, eh, yes. From indica desde cuándo inicia la actividad. Then. De acuerdo al manual, podemos interpretarla como entonces o después. Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I work in a company until 2000. Puede ser como, y después yo renuncié. Yo trabajé en la compañía hasta el 2011 y después. O entonces yo renuncié. I quit. Y eh, until es cuando usted finalizó una actividad. Hasta. Okay. Until. <coughs> I worked in Panama until my project was over. Hasta que mi proyecto estaba finalizado. Ok. Vamos a tratar de resolver el ejercicio 5. Okay, utilizando las preposiciones del lugar. De... Eh, tiempo, perdón, y el día de mañana vamos a tener una práctica eh, más profunda con estas expresiones. Vamos a intentar completarlo. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. ¿Qué sabe? ¿Qué sabe de from? There are signs, signs, thousand five. Alguien recuerda eh, cómo no pronunciamos esta esta palabrita? Sins. 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 Two thousand five. Dice que Nicola, eh, Nicole was born was born in San Salvador. 
El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there. Mm. From? From, no. Is it? From, from January. From. Yo voy a ir completando lo que ustedes van diciendo. From. From. Two. Así. Year from yes. 2005 to 2011. Okay. Frase introductoria. Then. Then. She worked then, in Mulsa? She was in for, for seven years. Seven years. For seven years. Since, Since she was a child. Since she, to be she a was manager. a child, she wanted she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man, the man who was the manager, for for almost fifteen years, retired. His name was Gonzalo, and he worked there. Until until until. until. Muy bien, hasta. Recuerde que antes es hasta. hasta. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works. From. Excellent. Very good. From Monday. To. Saturday. To Saturday. To Saturday. And she loves her job. She was not work there. Then, then she has no work there. Are you sure? <sighs> yeah. Agree or disagree? She she has no work there. There. ¿Estamos de acuerdo o...? Longo. ¿Perdón? Eh, es long. Slow. Long. Long. Pero no, long no es de... No entre las dos. Ah, sí, 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 perdón. Sí, yes, teacher. Sí, sí, perdón. Read about Nicholas' work experience and put in the blank using... There, long, time. muy bien. Since long. Long. Aquí es long. Se me... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Ok. Y así es como nos queda. She has no work there long, but her team supports her. Muy bien. Excelente trabajo. Mañana vamos a reposar un poco más este tema. Ahorita debido al tiempo... Vamos a tomar la asistencia y comenzamos con Alfredo Reyes, Hernández Sotelo, Maribel Ramos, Present Teacher, Calderón de López, Present Teacher, Alvarado de Benavides, Present Teacher, López González, Present Teacher, Orellana de Alemán. Santana González. Present teacher. Tobar Ayala. Thank you, Miss. Herrera Lucha. Present teacher. 
López Orellana, Present teacher. Alvarado Mejía, Present. Mejía Hueso, Present. León Rivera, Present. Castaneda Velasco, Romero Ayala, Present teacher. Martínez López, Present. Herrera Hernández, Rosibel Hernández, Present teacher. Molina de García, Present. López de Cabrera, Luna, Luna Sosa, Present. Pineda Mármol, y Miss Catherine Rivera. Right. Ok. Vamos a detenernos acá. We're going to stop right here the class. See you tomorrow. Ok. Good night. Bye bye and see you later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello. I have a problem with the platform. I have a problem. What? I'm sorry. I can't hear you. With the platform. With the platform. What is the problem, Miss? And the the words two. The exercise two, I I brought all the answer, but it's a mistake. All always. Let me see. Simple. Tiene alguna fotografía, Miss? Do you have any picture? Uh, yes, but I. Se la voy a compartir por aquí porque no no me puedo unir al WhatsApp. No sé por qué también Bye. tengo este problema. Ya lo reporté. Permítame. Ay, no sé cómo tomar la foto desde aquí. Se la puedo enviar porque no sé cómo tomar la fotografía. ¿Qué es la tarea número dos? Sí, la tarea número dos. ¿Cuál ah, le sale mal? ¿De la uno a la cinco? Todas. Vale, todas intente, intente colocando mayúscula al inicio. It, por ejemplo, en la número uno. Sí, it esa es mayúscula. It, it work, a training, working, weekends, y María. Vaya, ¿y punto al final? Mm, ya les puse también y no... Vaya, déjeme no intentar. Lo, pero voy a intentar nuevamente porque no... Teacher, yo también tengo problemas, pero solo con la... El, eh, siempre el ejercicio 2, la oración 4. Es la misma que le estaba diciendo Alfredo, creo. Eh, quiero ver. La que dice Weekends Off. Uh -huh. bueno. Eso. Sería, la respuesta sería Weekends Off would be a good, a good option to have happy employees. Con doble E. Al fin, eh, punto al final. Sin el A. Antes de happy. Sin el A. Es que como aquí muestra, aquí en, tiene dos A, nosotros lo habíamos puesto como A, a Happy sí, Staff. Sí. Hay un error ahí. Okay. Eso sería, weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees. Happy Staff. Se la voy a colocar acá en el chat y... No, teacher, pero igual sale. No. Si quiere la voy a compartir. Acá, que tal vez ahí también puede ver este Sandra, lo, las otras. Sí, igual me sale mal. Ajá, entonces, o sea, todas están bien, solo esta. Intente con el que, le, que le, el que le acabo de enviar al chat. Con employees. Sí, ahí se lo, se lo copié en el chat, la, la oración. Trate con eso. Sí, solo que aquí muestra staff, no employees. Entonces, sí, hay un error. Está... Hay un error ahí. Ajá. Este y la, la A, la, la doble A que sí. tiene. Porque aquí muestra una y aquí la otra. Sí, ahí está. Vaya.
Ya voy a reportar ese problema. Ok. Ok, muchas gracias, gracias a todos teacher. por unirse y nos vemos el día de mañana. Bye. 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 Bye.